Hi everyone, Solomon's Tales continuing. So we left it. Solomon was uh, in Soy 4 on the side of the road, plastic table and chairs, a couple of bottles of beer, four girls Ning, M, red hair, and the go go girl. And it was, it was getting dark and drinking and the girls are eating and um, Ning is definitely up to something definitely up to something so he knocked his couple of beers back and the girls still want to continue a bit but it is getting dark and not really cold but anyway Ning sort of was like uh, get more drink um, and Solomon, after a few beers, he wants he wants a vodka. Now he's got a bottle of vodka in his room, and he's like, well, I've got a vodka room, but no Red Bull, Lippo. M. Roy has it, M150 bottles of lip. And then he's like, well, go shop, get some Red Bull and some um, more whiskey for the girls. And uh, we'll go to your room. And he's like, He's beginning, what's going on? And he's like, oh, whatever. And she, Ning just, <laughs> she puts her hand on his pocket. It's like, you know, give me money. Oh, he pulls out a thousand baht. And I'm like, it's not, <laughs> these girls, you know, they're not his girlfriends. Well, they're friends and they're girls, but they're feeding them drink he's like the after party you know he's it gets it starts getting expensive it can be anyway ning uh grabs his money off him and she's like nods at uh red hair shop so there's no shop there you have to go all the way up soy four to the second road around the corner to next to his old room to the shop there so ning's walks across the road this little the soy Across the road, and there's all the bikes parked along the wall. Solomon hasn't got his bike key, so she's just mooching around the bikes. And there's a Honda 400, quite popular on the rental market in uh, Patea. I think it was a Super 4 400 or Super Sport or something. Anyway, this is Honda 400 with keys in it. It's not hers, it's not the girl's. She's like, uh, she drags the bike out, she chucks red on the back. <laughs> Shut off. Whose bike is it? I was like, no idea. Just pinches it. Up round. Ten minutes later, comes down Soy 2, back round the beach road into Soy 4, parks the bike up, leaves the keys. So it's just borrowed someone's bike. <laughs> and, uh, right, let's all go to the room. And Solomon's like, this is not a good idea. <laughs> Whiskey, vodka, four girls. Yeah, it's a dream, guys. Okay, it could be a dream, but Solomon's not there for hedonistic holiday, remember. Guests in the room, that's it. Oh, no glasses. Oh, and, and uh, Ning's bought loads of crisps and more Thai sort of savoury, wrapped up in plastic foods and seaweeds and all oh, this horrible, smelly crisps and stuff. Anyway, bought loads of that as well. No change. Kiss that goodbye. The only one of the few Red Bulls that was about 30 baht and there's a thousand baht gone. I mean, oh, whatever. Ning's usually got usually pays for everything herself, apart from sometimes. Anyway, so like, oh, whatever. Now in his room, there's no furniture. There is the little TV that gets turned straight on. Yep, Thai soap operas, stupid things. No furniture, apart from the bed, bedside table, a safe, a little TV and the sort of bathroom bit there behind the screen smoked glass screen no frosted frosted so uh, not much privacy in the room <coughs> they all pile on the bed no glasses that's it red downstairs to the soapy comes back up with loads of glasses and plates what where do they come from and cutlery so it's turning into a, a let's watch TV on Solomon's bed in his room and get drunk 
watching stupid Thai soap dramas. Anyway, Solomon, the vodka comes out, he's got, she's bought him about four lipos with these little bottles. He's got a glass, he's like, oh, that's it, he's happy. And they drink here, and the girls are eating, they're making a mess of his room, and this goes on. And Solomon's starting to get drunk. You know, he's on the vodka, and he's knocking doubles and trebles, and that Red Bull does weird things when you start getting drunk, you know. You sort of can't sleep, you're awake, and well. Anyway, this went on for a bit, and Ning's like, right, go, 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 it's off to work. Ning's like, I gotta go. So I was like, mm -hmm. got a mess in here. So, off those two go. So it's just red hair and M left. And so I was like, oh, he's getting drunk. Anyway, it's a setup, you know it is. But, Solomon thinks, well, this M's. Ning setting him up for this girl M, but Red's there still. Anyway, one thing leads to another, the lights go out, the telly goes off, uh, two aerobics instructors, a reasonable night is had by all, and the night goes, <laughs> we're not going into detail, but not brilliant, but let's call it a Zumba instruction lesson <laughs> morning comes everyone seems to st well Solomon wakes up M there red hair there wakes up the girl's stirring up as well like he's like looking around and the room is wrecked with stuff anyway they all sort of Solomon nudges them and they're like oh, and they'll get bit by bit into the bathroom come back out and then Solomon says to the girls, clean it up, all of it, get rid of it. And they're like, mm. but good as gold. They absolutely take the lot, clear the lot, take the glasses off the plates, rooms back to pretty much clean. Anyway, they do that and they're like, bye, Pfft, gone. Solomon's like, oh, still hangover. And he, Collapses for another half hour on the bed, you know, and then eventually rises, gets up, has a proper shower. Hey, oh, I need some fresh air. Walk down the beach, get some breakfast. So out he goes. Down the beach, walking down the beach, up to about Mike's shopping mall, something like that. And then cuts through one of the side streets there. Finds some Thai food, little cafes. There's a bakery up there and stuff, and you think, oh, croissant. Dives in the bed, gets some croissant, comes out of the little cafes and eat the coffee. So we sat there. A bit of a hangover, coffee, croissants, lovely, sun's out, it's great. His phone hardly ever rings, hardly ever uses it, it's ringing. And he's like, what? He gets his little foot, horrible old Nokia thing out. And it's like, Ning, where are you? What? Okay, breakfast. Explains where he is. And she didn't say anything, she didn't say I'm coming to see you. She just like puts the phone down. Like, Ugh. <laughs> Whatever. Yep, ten minutes later, she finds him. Probably got a song tail down, I don't know. Piles in, finds him, sits down, menu, orders loads of food. <laughs> He's like, oh here we go again. Now I'm gonna get the third degree. And then she's on him. Mm, what do you think, M? M? M starts pushing. She's like a saleswoman, she's like a pimp. And he's like, no, no, I don't want a girlfriend, and I'm not don't like it, don't like M, and not my cup of tea, and red hair, and no, no. And sort of Ning's face drops a bit, it's like, huh? Well, she's running out of options now. <laughs> she, she shares the room with the go, 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 red hair, and M. That's it. Hmm, okay, and anyway, she starts eating and thinking, you can see her face, she's like, she's just thinking, you know, she's now, who's next? Anyway, she piles into food and, and Solomon says, look, it's time, I need to go off and do a trip. I was going to go Vietnam and have a wander, but 
I need to do a visa and I leave the country. But I'm going to go, I want to go to the south, I want to go to Malaysia. So he's still got a couple of weeks left before he's due, but he's like, he's had enough, he, he needs a break. And he says, I'm going to, I'm going to go to Bangkok and fly down to a place called Hat, Hat Yai, H-A-T space Y-A-I, Hat Yai, right on the southern part of Thailand where it joins Malaysia on the border there. So I'm going to go down there, um, I don't know, I'm just going to have a wander. So uh, I'm going to go back to the room, I'm, I'm just going to do it, he says I'm going to go, um, maybe tomorrow, which is early, frozen stuff in Bangkok, anyway, and Ning's like, oh, okay, what about your room, you pay already, and he's like, ah, it's only a couple of weeks left. She says, oh, can I use it? <laughs> he's like, okay. Bike? What about bike? You paid? He's like, yeah, yeah, you can use it. And then give it back to Sue. He's like, oh, okay then. So now she's sort of happy again. She's got a free room for a couple of weeks and a bike for a couple of weeks. They finish the food anyway. They wander through, song tail back, walk down to the floor together. And Solomon's like, yeah, I've made my mind. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. But today I'm just going to chill and uh, I'm not drinking today. I'm going to relax them. Maybe go on the beach and just lie on the beach for a few hours. She said, okay, I'll see you later. And uh, she says, I'll see you before you go. Said, All right, sure, no problem. So up the steps in the soap, it goes into the bar area. Yeah, there's the girl again winking. And the lady Sue's there and he walks across and says, uh, morning, coffee, free coffee, yep coffee and they get chatting he says I, I've got to do a visa run I've got to go and sort of visa out and leave the country I know it's early but I'm gonna to go tomorrow and then I'll come back soon on can I come back and get the room and the bike off you and he explains about Ning wants to use it and Sue's fine everything's fine yep yeah, no problem you're gonna come back he said yeah yeah so you want to leave things here he said, oh, no I've only got rucksack no problem and she's like, yeah, okay, no problem. And uh, he said, I'll give keys to Ning and she'll sort everything. Yeah, yeah, fine. Had his free coffee. Right, head to the room. The girl's winking at him again. <laughs> He's like, ah. Anyway, get back to his room. He said, right, I'm going to the beach. So he throws some swimming shorts on and a, a vest. And uh, he hasn't got a towel. But, pff, what the hell? <laughs> Who needs a towel? sun dries you off pretty quick and he drops down the beach and he has a few hours down there and he has a swim and just sort of sits on the concrete step at the back he hasn't got a towel to lie on and stuff but he's not paying for those deck chairs or whatever they are how much but he's sort of lying on the concrete ledge or sitting on it nice so it's getting on late afternoon he thinks right go back room go and get some food and have an early night maybe. Heads back to the room, changes, quick shower. Just down the road, a few hundred meters on the front, into a restaurant. Quite a nice one. It's, thought we'd spend a bit. It's about 200 baht for a meal, so it's nothing. As a meal, back to his room. It's probably 6 37, he's going to crash. And then tomorrow he's just going to head off to Bangkok. So, get back to his room. Maybe an hour passes. He's got a TV on one of the music channels in the background. Knock on the door. What? Who's this? Opens the door. Ning. In she comes. Hi. Closes the door. Just makes herself comfortable. And he's like, yes, what? I'll come see you. Bangos is quiet night. She obviously felt guilty that she let him down again and you know what happens when Ning feels guilty yes but we'll leave it there time's flying by <laughs> ah dear Ning the aerobics instructor guilty feeling has popped in for the night <laughs> lucky lucky Solomon oh Right.
catch you on the next one. He's off to Hat Yai. Oh, that's going to be interesting. New town, city? Yeah, big town. Lots and lots of, uh, yeah. I'll tell you on the next one. Bye for now.